Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dragon Arts Computer Corner, and we are stepping into a continuing look and playthrough of Avalon Hills game, Turning Point Stalingrad. Uh, before we jump into things, I just wanted to uh, touch bases real quick on something. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, Kev from the Big Board Game, uh, Big Board Gaming. Uh, he has been kind and gracious enough to uh, to kind of to hype me a little bit over at uh, over at over at the big board gaming man. I appreciate that, and because of that, I've uh, seen an uptick and an upspike in uh, subscribers. And if you are coming here from Kevin's recommendation from big board gaming, I want to welcome you. I am Devin. I am the original Grognard. This is the Grognard's corner. Technically, we're at the computer corner. I do a combination of both computer and video or and, and tabletop games, mostly old school stuff because I'm too poor to afford anything new. Uh, and I really enjoyed the old, old school stuff. I've been gaming for a very long time. Um, so yeah, I hope you find me half as entertaining as you find Kevin. And I hope to have you guys around for a long time. And hopefully I'll be doing this for a long time. Uh, so here we are going jumping into turn two of Turning Point Stalingrad. So let's go ahead and start taking care of administrative type stuff. Okay, we are moving into turn two, which is the 14th. And if everybody remembers, I was pointing out all these different colors and, and uh, symbols. Uh, that's the duration of disruption effects and so we just moved into the 14th so now that means we can hit this little button up here and that would remove all units that had the disrupted blue but you know I don't think there were any I think I had one unit down here and that basically is all we needed to do for that now what we have to do is flip over everybody that is not under a disruption marker so We're going to get a probably a bunch of stuff flipped over and ready to go back into combat operations. That's not good right there. Let's go ahead and zoom this in so people can actually kind of see what I'm doing. Whoops. Don't want to disrupt them. They're not disrupted yet. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Flip. Flippy flip. Wow. It's taking longer than I thought it would. I apologize. It took so long. It's taking so long to do this. All right, I think that's everything. Now, if you'll notice, I didn't flip the artillery over. Uh, Soviet artillery works a little bit differently. They actually require a full impulse uh, for the Soviet to spend to uh, to refit. Uh, and we also the Luftwaffe. Luftwaffe 8 comes back every turn. So uh, that is that taken care of. And uh, the only other administrative we really have is to check for isolated. I think the only isolated we have is this Soviet stack right here. So they're going to end up being isolated because, you know, that's German, German, German. I mean, it's German all the way around them. Uh, those are Russians. Those are Russians. They can trace supply back. Those guys are in supply. Germans can trace supply back. Although maybe not for long. I have a feeling we might be seeing a counterattack from these Russians over there. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Germans and Russians lot. Germans. We're looking at some some spots where the Soviets may want to try some localized counterattack. Oh, there's someone who didn't get flipped. But yeah, I think that was the only one that really everybody else, if I remember correctly, managed to be able to draw a supply back to a supply source. All right, so that's good on that. And basically with isolated, it kind of really screws them. Uh, they can't move. Um, their defense is reduced. There's a whole bunch of bad things. They over get flipped over to an ISO 2. Uh, then they have to start rolling the dice to see if they're eliminated every turn. And I don't think the Soviets are going to be able to... Uh, 
to get in there and rescue them. They just don't have the forces, it looks like. There's a lot of Germans. Maybe in a couple turns. We'll see. Actually, I don't think they're going to last that long. They might. I could just totally ignore them. And so go ahead, take our impulse track, flip it, and set it back to impulse one. And we are ready to begin the turn. And the Germans get to go first. So let's see. That's it. Where's that at? 12 and 13. What's adjacent to 12 and 13? Okay, that's there. All right. Just trying to get an idea what I have in my off board strategic areas yeah, those guys got pushed back hard bad dice rolls on the German part that turn um okay so I think what we're probably going to end up doing is the first thing we're going to do is I think we're going to take a flotilla eight and we got to try to stop these Soviets these Soviets can actually put a really big hurt on me because I got nothing over here <laughs> that's not disrupted or suppressed in some way, shape, or form. So we're going to commit Luftlotilla 8 to there. So that's going to be 8, 9, to 6. So we got 9. Oops. One of these days I'll get the vassal layout down then again maybe not we just got to remember that the first dice roll of the turn uh has us figure out if the turn ends with the variable impulse but we need to roll equal to or less than the current impulse number we can't do that on 2d6 so we got a nine and i also have to remember that with any airstrikes if the combined Airstrike plus T, uh, combined dice roll plus TEM is a 13 or better. It rubbles the hex. So we get 9 plus 2 terrain is an 11. doesn't rubble the hex. But we did get 9 plus 9 is an 18. I'll write it down so I don't forget it. And we're looking at a 6, 7, 8, 13. So that's 5 points. First one has to go to the highest defense. So we're going to flip him. Oh, one thing we did forget in administration is, where is it? The armor, uh, Russian armor replacements. They still hold the Drezhinsky Red Barricades, or is it the Drezhinsky? It's number 70. Drezhinsky Tractor Works. Okay, so they still hold the Tractor Works. Uh, they get plus one armor replacement per turn. Uh, so that moved that up to two. So that's one. Four, one, two, three, four. Three. Ugh. I'm going to have to retreat somehow. So one, two, three, four. Ugh, I don't want to leave any of those guys disrupted. Well, you know what? Yeah. Let's go one, two, three, four. Let's flip them all. And that'll be three. And just because, let's pull one of the infantry back to there. No, that'll be three, four, five. So we're looking at four points. But I gotta fulfill one more and I can't. One, two, three, eh. one, <laughs> two. Three, four, okay, that's, that's, that'll work. Flip. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five to kill that one. And they will stay right where they're at, but they get a disrupted four marker on them. Let's take a look at the turn track. And the turn track four down is blue. So they get marked with a blue and will be undisrupted. Mm -hmm. So there's a better way I could have done that, I think. Yeah. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, flipping one other guy and bringing the dead guy back. Yeah. Soviets, uh, if you've kind of noticed, Soviets, uh, <laughs> they took some casualties last turn. <laughs> 
They took a few casualties last turn. Really good dice rolls on the German side. But the Germans, the Germans managed to lose a couple units as well. I mean, they even lost one of their Panzer companies with a flak battalion. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, I remember to bring something to drink this time, so my throat won't get as scratchy. I'm drinking Earl Grey tonight. I like my Earl Grey. Actually, as it comes to teas, I pretty much always drink Earl Grey. Do you like my black and my oolong teas? Green teas taste funny to me. All right, so that is Lo Flotella 8, and they've done their thing. What do we got there? We got our two, we got two artillery. What artillery defending on its own? How does that work? I did not realize that was an artillery by itself. Rain chill non combat. Okay, no conventional attack factor. They cannot be attacked or suffer casualty points. If eliminated due to isolation or left alone without a friendly combat unit in an enemy occupied area, they are immediately removed. During the next dawn impulse, they are placed with any supplied unit of the same parent organization, friendly controlled area of their choice, with the same fresh spent condition as existed at the time of their removal. Ooh, oopsie. Yeah, so um, the Russians are just going to go ahead with their impulse and move into there, which will flip them over. And that will remove both of those units. Let's just go ahead and stick them right there. And then next dawn turn, they can come back. That's poopy. Let's see if there's any. Yeah, that, that's good enough. I'm sure we could probably have moved. Let's see what. Movement four, one, two. And they could have gotten deeper, but, you know, there's. It wouldn't have cut off any supply. I mean, if they'd gone here to try to cut off supply here, supply can still be traced, you know, over here. So moving into there and eliminating the artillery units for now, that's that's good enough. Uh, and since we rolled a nine for our impulse roll, there, there was it was not lower than the current impulse. All right, so we're going to impulse two back to the Germans. And as I said last video, this turn is probably going to go much quicker because there just isn't as much stuff up. Um, ew, do we want to go? I could go for Mami of Kia again, but then probably get counterattacked here. So, you know what? Let's could attack here first to tie them up and then attack with Mommy of Kogan. But then these guys can counterattack here. So we are going to go ahead and take this artillery and we are going to use them. And that actually will get them a disruption four because all German artillery always takes a disruption four. So it's a nine, ten because German attack during daylight turn. Uh, 11, 12, 16 against i think three is the highest and that will be our roll for the impulse so six so it's not lower than the equal to or lower than the current impulse turn so the turn will continue uh so the soviets uh low their highest defense is a three four five six seven eight twelve sixteen to twelve is four And the first one's got to come off the highest. So that'll be one. Let's check something just to make sure. Attacks. Yeah, two to eliminate a spent unit. And the difference is four. One, two, three. Oh, I could flip them all. Yeah, we don't want to give up this space yet. So we'll go one, two, three, and then flip one. And those get marked with disrupted four. And we know blue is four turns out. 
All right, so Soviet Impulse 2. That will have been the German attack. Let's see, do the Soviets want to try any localized counterattack? As right now, they just really don't have the strength. Germans have got a really high defense. I mean, if you're taking a look at some of this stuff, I'll zoom in a little bit. I mean, you know, well, the Pioneers are one, but defense six, defense four, um... Yeah, granted, defense two, but yeah, defense four with that infantry, defense eight, defense nine. I mean, the Russians attacking right now, they really don't have a lot of big units. It, it's just not worth it. So until the Russians start getting a lot of reinforcements on, they kind of got to play a waiting game. But they are kind of strong over here. The Germans didn't make good advances over here. But really, I mean, the only place I could really strike it and do something is right here. I could attack from here into there, but then the recon can probably exploit. So you know what? We are actually going to take the turn. We're going to refit one of our artillery units. And that will give us uh, done with impulse two. That would be Soviet impulse two. So now we're going to move on to impulse three. Now the Germans are going to go here and press into Overshiani. I seriously hate trying to pronounce Russian names. So, you know what? We won't. Area 39. Let's just call it that. Uh, and as proper, we'll go ahead and move them in there. So it's going to be three points to move, movement points to move into there. It's going to be, that's the highest attack, is a two... 3-4 for regimental integrity, or regimental integrity, 2-3-4-5 for supporting units, 6 for regimental integrity of three, 3 battalions of the same regiment, and then one more for a German attack during the daytime and totally lost, so 2-3-4-5-6-7. This is why I write numbers down. Oh, wow. 18. No. 19. Ooh. That could be very, very bad. And the Russians get 3 for 5. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 6. So we'll go 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, and we're going to leave the armor there. That actually could have been a lot worse for the Soviets. All right, so that'll go there. We'll get marked with blue. These guys are on the attack. They'll get flipped, and since they were a successful attack, they get marked with a disruption too. So let's see what it is. Two turns down is orange. Finally seeing some orange. Oops, let's try to, well, we don't want to break up regimental integrity. So yeah, we'll go put that there and then disrupt orange. All righty. Now, Russian turn. Oops, I'll always do that. Get one extra disruption marker on there. Okay, we have... We got the armor here. We got that there. Where can we where can we throw a monkey wrench into the Germans' plans? I think we already kind of decided we're not gonna do much over here. These guys, I could probably move these guys someplace. Because we know the Germans are already kind of weak. What do we got there for attack? Three, four, five. Yeah, that's just not. I mean, I could go after these pioneers. It'd be five to two, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't think I'd have the movement. No, the infantry couldn't get there. All right, so let's leave those guys there. We know we, we've 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 figured out that the Germans are, are really pressing on Mami of Kiagen. Um, so what can we do over here? Oh, we could counterattack or attack them before they hit us, which would be 5-6 to uh, 
to four, five. Eh, it's only a plus one advantage. Now it would be even because Germans get a plus one on defense during the daytime. Hmm. And I've got reinforcements. The Soviets have get reinforcements. They've got, yeah, this is the 14th. They got this huge old stack. And if you can see, now we're starting to talk about some beefy defense numbers. Sixes, sevens, stuff like that. But they don't show up yet. They they're on the they're on the other side of the Volga. And so I gotta wait until nighttime to try to cross them. So the Soviets have got some beefy defense stuff coming. It's just not on the table yet. So and I could attack uh, that's one, two versus yeah, that's not even worth it, but they'll stay there. Three, four, yeah, I just I'm just not seeing any counterattacks. I mean this would be kinda nice, but that'd be four, five to five, six. Yeah, it's, it's not even worth it. Yeah, uh, you know what? We'll just go ahead and refit another artillery unit. All right, on impulse four. Now the Germans are going to go ahead and push into Mamiyev Kurgan. So let's see what we've got. Highest attack. Dee, dee, dee is a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so the Germans get nine. Watch this be a horrible dice roll. Nah, 10, 15. Okay, 15. Okay, now that was our dice roll, six. What impulse is it? It's only impulse four, so turn will continue. Um, against the Soviets, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ooh, 16. Not good. Not good at all. Germans lost that one. Lost that one big. So, well, not lost it big. They lost it by one. So they get flipped over and get marked with a disruption four. Because... You know what? Germans, I think, are going to burn their advantage. A little thing I didn't go over earlier. Each each the, the turn marker also kind of represents the advantage marker. Who has the advantage? Basically, any time who has the advantage, what they can do is they can burn it to force a dice reroll. So I think the Germans are going to force a dice reroll on that one because uh, that was that was bad. That was a bad <laughs> bad results on the mommy of Kyogen. Um, so let's go ahead and figure out three, four, five, six, no, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for regimental integrity, ten for being on the, or being on the attack during the daytime. And what did I say? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right, ten, fifteen, twenty. Much better dice roll, uh, against the eight of the Soviets, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay, 6. Oh, that's not good. It wipes them. That will remove them both because they've only got 6 casualty points there. And since they wiped everybody out, now is it, is it equal to or, or greater than the number of casualties for an overrun? Let's check that real quick. Over right now, the sly ones of you may may be thinking, well, why don't the Russians just take their advantage? And now nah, you can't use it on the same. Uh, <laughs> you can't use it the same impulse or the same dice roll that you get it, or else it would flip back and forth half a dozen times. Uh, yep. Okay, we're overrun. More casualty points. Okay, so that was equal to. So it does not force an overrun, which, oh, that would have been so nice if I could have got, oh, just one more point. One more point. I could have made it to the Volga. Oh, that is so disparaging. 
Oops. Stupid counters. Never doing what I tell. Actually, they do exactly what I tell them to. All right. Um. So now the Russians. Do they want to try to take back Mommy of Cooking? No. We got reinforcements coming. We are going to be landing reinforcements to take back Mommy of Kurgan. Yes. And we got a defensive line here. No sense attacking into there because it's three to five, six. So, yeah, we won't be doing that. I could throw the artillery. No, I can't throw the artillery in. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a bigger. Whoops. That's too big of a. Okay. What have we got? We got Soviets and Germans here. We got Soviets here. We got Soviets and Germans here. That'd be one, two, three to four. Yeah, the the, the starting units just can't really do much in the, much with anything of them. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and refit one of the artillery units. All right, that makes it impulse five. What do the Germans want to do now? They want to do anything up here? <laughs> they also, I mean, they got beefy units, but they just don't have the strength. So that'd be five to three. Or here we go four to three. Actually, five to three. Hmm. Did I not flip these guys over? I do not think I flipped those over. Yeah, because I moved them up there. They did not get flipped over. All right. Yeah, not much there. Look at this artillery unit. Those guys got repulsed, so they're not doing anything. Uh, it really looks it's right here. What do we want to do with these guys? Advance, yes, I, I'm well aware of that. So which one Which one should I go for? West Stalingrad or the Southern Railway Station? You know what? Let's go for the West Stalingrad because it's got fresh units still there. So we got four, five, six, seven, no regimental integrity, eight for Germans attack on... Daytime. Ah, we rolled a three. Now, since that's our impulse roll as well, that's a three, which is less than our current impulse. So that will end the German. Uh, that will end the day turn. We, we we do finish the turn off, and it's a. Soviets have got. Let's make sure. Yep, that's a five. 10, 11. Oh, 11 to 11. Even, even. So, how rare is that? Because that is really rare. I forgot what happens when it's even. Resolution. Uh, offense total equals defense total. No effect to the defender, but all attackers are attacked with a disrupted three. That's not good. Flip and... They get hit with orange. That's actually pretty bad. <laughs> Not that these guys can do a local counterattack or anything. It's because they're fighting in the city. But that does end the day turn. Now it flips. Oh, uh, the Russians still have their impulse. What do the Russians want to do? They could regroup some stuff. Where could they regroup? Regrouping is basically the only way you can move spent units uh, or units that have been uh, uh, spent in previous turns marked with a disruption marker. Uh, and you can only move them like one zone. Mm, yes. Let's take a look at the turn. I believe yellow is going to come up before green. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and regroup these guys back here. Right. 
OCDness with the counter sometimes kicks in. But the highest defense on top, so I don't have to go digging through them. So we'll go ahead and regroup there. And that will end the Soviet impulse. And now we flip it over to the night turn and start it on impulse three. And the Russians get to go first. Now, now the Russians can start bringing their reinforcements over. These guys are all 13th guards. So let's stack them in groups of three because we get the benefit for every three formations of the same parent regiment. And besides which, we can only move them over in groups of three to begin with. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's take this first stack, this big, big beefy stack that's got the six attack. And we need to plug a hole right here because the Germans are coming. Now, granted, it's going to be a couple turns, but we've got German follow-up units back here that could possibly exploit. So, yeah, we, we see the Germans sitting on Mami of Kurgan as a threat. So these guys are going to attempt to cross into here. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take a look at the chart for crossing use the interdiction all right uh mommy of kurgan uh i control area 56 so that's two points and it's uh let's see one is in october two is in november so it's only uh, october let's see uh control area 56 riverbank uh germans can test one or more or control one or more riverbanks I don't think I've got, oh, no, I've got control there. That is control, even though there's spent units. And that's it. That's all the riverbanks I control so far. All right. Um, proximity lamin. Germans can test adjacent. Germans control adjacent. Germans control the adjacent riverbank because they control Mami of Kurgan. So that's a plus four to the dice roll. Germans, uh, Russians need to make it the dice roll. Is a nine plus four, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, I'm horrible with math. 13. Um, okay, where is. Okay, unit suffers immediate disruption, duration two disruption, but is landed on the West Bank. All right, that was not what I was hoping for. <coughs> they got there. Unfortunately, the, uh, the looks like the Germans were able to put some fire on them. So they get a disrupted two, and disrupted two is orange, I believe. Just to make sure. Yes, disrupted two is orange. All righty. So that is the first Russian impulse, and the dice roll we rolled was a... Uh, nine which is less than three so it moves on to the german side of things now really the germans they've got this here but they suffer a penalty when attacking at night or actually they don't suffer a penalty the russians get a bonus but that's going to be a three four this it's going to be a six I could go seven, eight, nine, nine against seven. No, we're not going to do that. But what we are going to do is that these guys are going to go ahead and move into here. And flip them. Oops. Just so they can possibly exploit tomorrow an attack there and really i think that's about all that the germans have that's not flipped now they got this observer and they got the few re and they got those three units up there <laughs> okay uh anyway so uh that's it for the german impulse so that moves on to now nighttime impulse technically four but it's technically two um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me either. So we're going to move another stack across. And we are not going to move adjacent there this time. 
Germans have got units. The Germans have got a lot of units there. Uh, you know, I could land right there. Now that's adjacent to those Germans. I could land right there. Yeah, you know what? Let's just play it a little bit safe this time. Let's land them right there. Uh, and it's going to be, I believe, plus three on the dice roll because of control of Mummy of Kurgan. Let's see, interdiction. Control of Mummy of Kurgan. And control one or more riverbanks. So yeah, it's going to be a plus three on the dice roll. Nine, 10, 11, 12. What is 12? Unit suffers immediate disruption one. But is landed on the west bank. All right, so disruption one. Again, no need to, no need to put a counter on it because it's disruption one. And now the Germans, let's, 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 like we were saying with those guys, 12 and 13. Yeah. 12 and 13. Yeah, let's go ahead and move him into 13. I'll go ahead and flip him. Hopefully the pioneers will keep him safe. The Soviets haven't decided to attack up here yet. Of course, now with that artillery sitting there, they might. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's ends impulse four. Uh, moving on to Impulse 5. So if you've got one unit left, also the 13th Guards. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and land him right here in the grain elevator. So it's going to be two for Mommy of Kurgan, one for controlled riverbank and one for landing adjacent to a contested. Yeah. Plus four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, disrupted one. Okay, we can live with that one. And the dice roll was an eight, which was not higher. And the Germans, I think the Germans are going to pass. The Germans really don't want to do anything. They don't have much to do. So we move on to impulse six. We've got our reinforcements across. Let's go ahead and do the refit. With the impulse for the artillery, the Germans are going to pass. Uh, oh, we're going to have to make a dice roll. Four. Okay, so four is uh, is lower than six, which is the current impulse, ending the turn. And that's turn two, boys and girls. I think that's long enough. We've been at this, what, half hour? We'll go ahead and continue it another time. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comment section. You know you want to. You know you love it. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Got a whole bunch of you guys. I love it when you guys subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your loved ones. And I'll see everybody next time around on the flip side when we continue into turn number three. See ya.